What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineer Survival 2024. This is episode number three and in this episode we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna attack the Parallax military installation. Last episode at the end we took off in our little drone which is out here right there, <laughs> chilling. Um, and we checked out the Parallax military installation and we were able to find out that it has quite a few weapons, but it, it could be a good target to attack. So this episode, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, off camera, just after we ended last episode, I added a couple of lights in here. So it's a, it's some nice warm lighting now and it's very well lit. We don't have our flashlight on and, and we can we can actually see, which is, is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, this episode is going to be a combat one, um, and it's going to be fun. But before we do any combat, there are some things that I need to get planned. Uh, I don't have any weapons, so it would be nice to get some sort of weapon in here. Let's go to production real quick and go to weapons and see what we can get. Uh, rocket launchers would be nice, but I think we're just going to go for some sort of gun. Obviously, this would be the best one, but that requires silver. So we might have to go for something like uh, the MP8 or the MR50. So you know what? I'm going to go for the MR50. It's a little cheaper and we can make it. Then we also need some ammo for that. Uh, and for that, we need the this ammo right here, but for that, we need magnesium. So we're gonna have to go and get some magnesium in this episode for sure. Uh, we'd probably also like to get some sort of block weapon on one of our vehicles. I don't know that we're gonna bring this one. This is mostly a cargo vehicle, but bringing something else into the fight would be good. Um, now I've thought about how I wanna handle that and some of you guys gave some good suggestions in the comments. Um, one that was really good was like a bombing run. I can maybe try and drop things on it, but I think what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna try to make a couple of these guys and we're going to try to send them over <laughs> the military installation with the idea being that there are only five guns on the military installation. If we make more than five drones, chances are the guns will be overwhelmed and we can just stroll right up to the gates uh, while they're shooting all of our drones. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. Um, how are we going to do that? I don't know. We're going to figure out in this episode. Uh, let me close my doors here so that we can get out here because we need to go and grab some. Oh, let me put my helmet on. I was used to inside over there. We need to go and grab some magnesium. So let me press K. GPS, throw on our MG right here so we can go grab some magnesium from that area. We're gonna bring our little vehicle. Um, by the way, I asked for some names, what you guys thought we should name these guys. And uh, for the Rover, one that I really liked was the Mocha Mobile because it's very coffee related. We have the coffee outpost over there. So I think we're gonna call this one the Mocha Mobile because I think it sounds cool. As for this one right here, I got a lot of cool names. Hummingbird was a good one, but I think what we're gonna go with is going to be Sprite. Someone recommended Sprite based on an old, I think uh, maybe US um, like real life <laughs> drone name or something. It stands for Surveillance Patrol and Reconnaissance for Intelligent Target Evaluation, which is technically what we were doing. So this is now the Sprite and this is now the Mocha Mobile. Let's head on off in the Mocha Mobile here and let's go to our magnesium area. Um, it's a little far, so it's gonna be a bit of a drive, but it's gonna be worth it because we're going to have weapons. Parallax, we're coming for you later in this episode. You better watch out. <laughs> I, I really hope the drone technique works. I really don't know how it's going to work. It's entirely possible that all the weapons ignore the drones and wait until I show my face and then attack me. But we'll find out. Oh man, it's looking a little bumpy right here. We just jumped off a mountain. But luckily, I think the wheels can handle pretty much anything at this stage. So we're just going to land that, hopefully. Oh, we got a little bounce. That's what the gyro's for. You don't have to worry when you got a gyro on your side. All right, here we go. The magnesium, if I recall, is in that rock. So we're gonna stroll on over to that rock. And I suppose while we're here with the vehicle, we might as well grab some gold and silver as well. Um, so let's go ahead and stop this guy. Press P to uh, put the parking brakes in and let's get some of this magnesium right here. Um, oh, I forgot to add an ore detector here. One of the good comment suggestions here was add an ore detector to this and to the drone. And I think we're gonna do that, but uh, when we get back to base. <laughs> All right, magnesium. I don't actually know how much of this stuff we're gonna need necessarily. Uh, we're not really planning on making an armada quite yet. I mean, we haven't seen any reavers um, or even any signs of the reavers, uh, but I know they're still out there. Maybe the reason we haven't seen them is because we don't have any weapons. Maybe they don't see us as a threat. Well, I got news for them. We're gonna be a threat sooner or later. Might as well make it now. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, 12k actually magnesium. Let's head over and get uh, grab some uh, some gold and silver. And if I remember correctly, the gold and silver is actually over here. Well, the silver is like right under us, but the gold is closer this way. So let's head over this way. We'll make a hole down to uh, hopefully both of them and we'll grab a little bit of that stuff. So maybe right here. Let's hop out. And this is why we need an ore detector in there. Uh, yeah, so we got gold right there and we've got silver right there. So I'm gonna make a hole straight down which is something you're not supposed to do in Minecraft, but in Space Engineers is totally fine. In theory. At least I've never fallen into lava in Space Engineers. 
Let's head down here, grab a little bit of the good stuff. Under the sea. Hey, there we go. We got some gold. Okay, gold is a pain in the butt, if I remember correctly, to uh, to get because it always tries to give you like a little bit of gold and then like a lot of stone usually. So I, I imagine we're gonna get mostly ice and then a little bit of gold. Well, let's see. You know, I, I could be wrong. Yeah, look, <laughs> we got like no gold and then mostly ice. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make like a little ice trash hole right here. Just goes down a little bit. Of course that goes into more gold, but it's fine. And we'll just deposit our ice in there. Under the sea. Why is that stuck in my head? Are we technically under the sea if we're digging through ice? Like if we're underneath ice, would that be under the sea? Or would that be under the ice? I don't know. Oh, you know what someone told me actually is that if I want to get rid of stuff like this, I can actually use my grinder on it. And oh, wow, it actually works. Okay, if you want to get rid of ores, apparently you can use your grinder on it and it'll grind it down and get rid of it. That is cool, I didn't know that. Thank you whoever pointed that out. It's like the more you know in Space Engineers, every single series I do, practically every episode, I'm learning something new that I didn't know before, so that's kind of cool. I'm tired of digging gold. That's, you know what, that's all I'm gonna get. Let's head over to the silver and grab a little bit of that. Okay, silver should be straight down, more or less. So let's go grab some of this stuff. Yes, okay, there's the silver. Let's grab a little bit of this stuff. All right, here we go. Let's see how much we got in here. So that's about two inventories full of silver, and we're actually out of space there. Uh, about one inventory full of gold, a little bit less even, and then about four inventories maybe of magnesium. So let's head back with this stuff. I think this will be good for us to uh, to say it was a successful haul. This does remind me of Mobile Survival a little bit. I don't know if you guys, if you guys haven't seen Mobile Survival, check that one out, that's a fun one. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this kind of close to the um, to the front here because I wanna make it easy for us to unload stuff. So let's go ahead and park it right there. Peter Park, hop out, and we'll grab some goodies. Okay, so first I'll grab the, uh, I'll probably grab the magnesium because I wanna get that stuff refining. Let's head inside. Uh, and in fact, I think we can put it in right there. And it should be fine. So a little bit of silver maybe. Boom, and let's just get the rest of this unloaded. It's gonna take a couple trips, but we'll, we'll get there. Alrighty, I think that's gonna be good. There's still a little bit of ice left on that thing, but I don't really worry about it too much. Let's close this up and head into here. We're gonna go into our refinery and check out what it's prioritizing. So our basic refinery is not doing anything, which is fine, that's what I like to see. This is starting on the magnesium. Uh, I actually wanted to start a little bit on the silver here because I wanna, I wanna make our level two tools. Um, they're gonna require, yeah, not that much silver, just a little bit. And then these, yeah, these are gonna require platinum for all of them. So let's just make level two tools here. When, you know, when it can. Oh, it's actually making the rifle magazines too. That is nice, we have weapons now. Good, good stuff. We're gonna need those for where we're going. Actually, we do have all the stuff now. Oh no, we don't have platinum, so we can't make this. And what about these? We can technically make a rocket launcher. The only problem is that I think the uh, rockets uh, require um, platinum. Yeah, they do. They require a little bit of platinum, which maybe we'll find at the base we're gonna go raid today but unfortunately that means we can't take rockets with us. However, check this out. Bam, 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 level two tools, and bam, bam, we've got our rifle. So we press G, go into our tools, we can put our level two tools onto our hotbar, and the same with our, um, our weapon. Okay, so what is next? We wanna attack the military installation, and we wanna use drones to do it, which means we're gonna need a drone. Um, we're gonna have to build that drone, so let's go ahead and grab a couple of interior plates and a couple of steel plates to help us with this. We're gonna head outside, uh, and in fact, I should really put a button here so that I can start using this more effectively as a um, as, as an airlock. But uh, we're pretty much gonna copy the design of this drone. The only difference is that we are not going to include, um, what do we wanna not include? Hmm. I think I still am gonna, actually it's gonna be very similar. You know what I might do? I might, I might exchange one of these batteries for a, uh, for an AI module. We don't need that much AI, but what I wanna do is I wanna tell it to be able to go to a position, and then at that position, it, you know, it'll fly over the base as it's trying to get there. So I think we're just gonna build this basically the exact same, except with one changed thing. Actually, here's what I'm thinking. You know what I should maybe do is I should maybe make these like proper AI fighters. Instead of making them little distraction dr drones, it wouldn't be very difficult to just give them like a, a couple rounds of ammo and tell them to go ham. So we're gonna use a very similar design, I think, but we're gonna change it up just a bit. 
in very subtle ways. So I'm probably gonna put like one big gun out the front. So uh, right here, we'll put like a Gatling. Uh, right here, we we'll use one of our Warfare Gats. Toss it right there. Uh, these are gonna be manually um, ammo fed, I think, unless we wanna like, well, they don't have to be manually ammo fed, do they? Okay, actually, you know what? I think we're gonna change up the design a little bit because we wanna have this thing have a weapon. I'm gonna put the connector down just under it right there. I'm gonna have two batteries, one right there and one right there. Then we're gonna have our two AI blocks. We have the AI move, which allows it to kind of take control of the ship. And then we have the AI offensive, which is gonna allow it to do some sort of offensive pattern. So when we release these guys, it should be able to do offensive patterns on that over there. Okay, so next we need to figure out what we wanna put in the back. So we are still gonna need a gyro. So let's go ahead and get one of those right there. Perfect. We're we're gonna need a backward facing thruster so we'll do that right here like that there we go I'm gonna need a frontward facing thruster so I'll put it right there although that means it can be shot off really easily but I don't think I care <laughs> I think if it gets shot off I'm fine with that we're gonna do the same sort of winged um, uh, thruster design because I think it looks really cool having them up here on their own little separate wing like that I think that's a kind of cool design Oops, put one right there. Then I think I am gonna do the same design having a an antenna as well as a remote control, because even though this is gonna have the AI, which means I don't need that stuff, it's gonna be nice to be able to plop into one of these and control it if I need to move it around or something like that. Okay, okay, that should be everything. So there's our gyro, there's our antenna, our thruster, our thruster, and I think that's everything, yeah, that is. Okay, let's give it a sick paint job. I'm thinking something uh, red because this is an attack drone, so let's do that. And then maybe we'll do like white as well so it blends in a little bit more. Uh, we'll go, how about, uh, we'll do the same thing we did for that. So white on the sides like this. Boom, 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 boom. And I think that's a pretty sick looking drone. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do then is, I was thinking originally we we're doing the distraction tactic that would make like 10 of those and then have them kind of circulate. But I think now that we're doing something with like actual attack capability, I might make only like five and then send them off at the same time and have them kind of attack over there. And hopefully they'll both distract the turrets and they'll also, you know, take them out <laughs> as well. So, um, what I'm going to have to do for this is I'm going to have to actually go in here and, and set all the configuration up, which is going to be a pain, but we're going to do it and uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun. Oh, I've actually forgotten one direction for the uh, for the thrusters. I need a thruster in the up direction. So let's add one of those somewhere. <laughs> OK, there we go. I moved the antenna back one block so that I can put the thruster in and now we should be good for the AI blocks. So AI move, there's not much we have to do. Um, we have to turn on AI uh, behavior, but I'm not gonna turn that on quite yet because I wanna be able to control it. So I think we're probably gonna have a button to select that when we're controlling it or something like that. Uh, but all this other stuff looks good. Uh, speed limit I increased to 40, although I could <laughs> really put it to whatever since we have a limited speed on, but we'll just put it to 40, it's fine. Min altitude is fine. Uh, collision avoidance on, etc. Okay, we're good. Then the AI drone uh, thing right here, we're gonna do target priority is going to be, that's fine. I think I'm fine with a circle uh, slash orbit pattern. I don't really know exactly how these work, but we're gonna set the distance to 100, that's okay. That means I think it'll try to stay around 100 meters out and then circle it and shoot at it as it's doing that. So we have using static weapons here, um, which I like, I'm fine with that. Uh, available weapons, we'll add that to its selected weapons. And I think that's all we have to do, other than this um, AI behavior thing. Finally, what I have to do, if I select this AI behavior, it'll that'll turn on the AI and make it so that I can't control it anymore, and it'll start trying to do its AI stuff. But I'm not gonna do that yet, I'm gonna keep them all like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blueprint this. And uh, it's just named Attack Drone right now, which is it's pretty lame, but let me know in the comments what you think we should call it, uh, other than Attack Drone and we'll name it next episode. Okay, so next up we need about five of these guys and we also need to make them some ammo. So let's start with the ammo because I think that's probably easy. Let's head in here, we need to find some GAT ammo. So they require these. Um, this requires iron, nickel, and magnesium. A lot of iron actually. I'm gonna make, um, I'm probably gonna give each of them five and I wanna make five of them. So let's make one, two, three. We'll make 30 ammo and that should be good. That's gonna require 400 iron, which means we'll probably need to go get some iron. But uh, as far as magnesium goes, Oops, refinery. It looks like we should be good on magnesium. Yeah, 
Okay, so there is the ammo. We're gonna get that sorted. Um, the other thing is that we wanna make like five of those drones. So what's the easiest way to make those? It's probably gonna be doing some sort of drone printer. So let's try and make a drone printer uh, and we'll make it like here, I guess. Um, drone printer is really easy, especially if you wanna do something very small that doesn't have many moving parts. We're just gonna do something like this. So something right there, then we're gonna go up right here. I don't have any steel plates on me. So we'll just use these guys. Oh, you know what? If I want it to be printable, I'm gonna need to add a merge block on here, aren't I? There we go, check that out. That looks actually pretty cool. It's kind of sleek. It's very weak. Sleek and weak, that's what I like to call it. <laughs> All right, there we go. We now have an attra attack drone mark two. Now this one right here, I'm actually gonna press K, remote access. I'm gonna bring it to the ground and then I'm gonna tell it to turn off its thrusters so that it can chill for a second. So what I wanna do right here so that we can make our little drone factory, um, cause drone factories aren't that hard to make if you're dealing with something small like this. The larger the ship gets, the harder it gets to make cause you have to deal with like uh, pistons pulling back your your uh, welding arm. But when it's small like this, I think a welding arm pointing like right there would just kind of get everything. So that's what makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab you and then I'm gonna tell this to make me stuff for this. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna grab the steel plates that he made. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna make myself a rotor, which is gonna be the base of this design here. We're gonna do what we did on the other side by adding a small head. We're gonna set it to uh, rotor lock as well. Perfect. And then we're going to get this thing configured. Okay, so we now have the setup that should help us build this thing. So we've got a merge block right here to connect with the merge block on our drone over there. We've got a connector for the same reason. We've got a projector, which will allow us to project the uh, the blueprint. And we've got a control panel, which will allow us to select things for the projector. Uh, projector. There we go. So let's check this out. Blueprints. We're going to have a lot of blueprints in here, but I'm going to look for the MK2. And we're looking for attack drone Mark II. Next, we're gonna have to move this into position. So I think all we'll have to do is move it up. So I'm gonna use build vision for this because it makes it a little easier. Uh, and I think that'll be horizontal, no, not horizontal, vertical offset of this. Okay. And with that, I think, uh, this might not actually be able to build it. It's a little bit low for my liking. So what I might do is I mo might move it up a little bit. There we go. I'm thinking this looks a little bit better. I still don't know if that'll be able to reach this, but we will find out. Worst case, we can maybe turn it so that it's... We can move this back one and then over one, and maybe that'll help. But let's let's go ahead and turn this on and see how well it does. So we'll turn that on and see if it can build the entire drone. It's going to, of course, require the materials for one. But, uh, like, for instance, what are you missing right now? Um... A lot of stuff. Steel plates, construction components. Okay, so we're gonna need to put stuff in uh, in our base here. So let's go in here, make like 20 steel plates, 50 construction components, uh, some small steel tubes. Okay, we've got a bunch of really, really good things in our production here, um, and we're just gonna have to see if it's able to build all of it over time. <laughs> it's getting there, slowly but surely. I'm amazed that it's able to reach all the stuff out there. What I'm a little worried about is that block right there that's kind of close to it and then these ones that are kind of far from it. But if it can reach those two, then that will be good. Wow, it is actually able to reach both of these blocks. So I think this is probably gonna work then. The only thing is we need to make sure that we, we continue to have all the materials that it requires. Like this right now is asking for construction components that we're out of. So if we make a couple of those, it should be able to complete the construction. Um, we'll add a hundred construction components in there. We're queuing up a lot of irons worth of stuff, but if we look over here in our refinery, we do have 24k iron, so uh, yeah, I think we'll be good. Okay, last motor. There we go. That is drone number two. Oh, well, it's got this one at, at least still. And there we go. Okay, drone number two is built. Perfect. So we now have two out of five drones, and the way we build it is easy. We just need to put this thing on here and tell it to go. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn you off for now. And what I want to do now is we need some sort of way to charge all these guys. And I don't really want to just charge them at base. I think probably the easier way to do it will be to make another vehicle, <laughs> which might seem like overkill, but I think it's going to be nice to have. We're going to make another vehicle that's just going to have charging spots for drones. So it's going to have batteries and then charging spots for drones. And so we'll, we'll be able to get the drones close to the base and then release them all at once. I think that'll be nice to have. I think right here should be fine. This is going to be a very simple vehicle. Kind of like that, but without all the extras. We might not even add, like, oxygen <laughs> to it or anything. 
Although it could serve, you know what, maybe we'll put a uh, survival kit on there because it could serve as a mobile respawn uh, for us just in case. So let's actually go in here, add some medical components to the production. I want to have one, two, three, and those require a lot of silver, but three is going to get us a, uh, a survival kit. So that'll be nice to have. All right, for this guy, I think since we're going to have a lot of weight on it, we're going to go with a nice six wheel design, which I think is going to be uh, kind of neat. Okay, here's the basic design that I have going for us here. I'm using I'm using the uh, cab cockpit again because I really like how it looks on the the Mocha mobile over there. I'm putting it in the center. Uh, I have a couple of batteries right here that I have, and then I have a um, a big cargo thing back there. Um, I've got a free block between here just in case I want to add some conveyors going around there. Same thing right there for redundant conveyors. And then over here, we'll have some conveyors as well. And then off to the side right here, we'll have probably room for about six of these guys uh, chilling on here. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how we're uh, planning on having it go. And let's try and get it to work. All right, I've done the math. I've calculated the size of that thing, and I think this should work so that we can have six of these things all facing outside. Now we need to get all this welded up. All the stuff for the wheels, I think, is done. So let me go ahead and grab all that, if we can. I'm very glad to have the level two tools. That does help a little bit. You know, when you have to do a lot of welding, having slightly faster welding speed is uh, nice. Okay, last wheel. This stuff should also be made, but I did use a couple steel plates, so it's possible. Nope, okay, we do have all this stuff, good. Okay, we were able to get a lot of materials for this stuff, so we should be able to get most of these welded. You can see how slowly our inventory size is going down as we're welding these. Okay, I had said I wanted a survival kit on this thing, but I'm wondering where I could fit it. I guess I could remove this battery right here and then put a uh, survival kit. Let's see, would it f how, how well would it fit? Would it fit well? It would. Actually, yeah, that does fit very well. Let's see if I can build that up. It requires three of those medical components, but I think we were able to build them all. Oh, we were only able to build two of them, were we? Or did I just run out of space? Okay, no, we were able to get all of them, but we just need one more display. There we go. So we were able to build that as well. All right, there we go. It's connected. It's powered. It's looking good. I guess the only thing it's missing is going to be a connector. So can we get one of those put on the back here? I think we can. And then we'll just have to get some actual connections to it. And there we go. Okay, it's it's finally a complete ship. So we have enough spots for all these guys. So if I grab this uh, guy right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, toggle that off. This might actually still be considered part of the thing because of this... Uh, uh, projector block right here. There we go. I removed the projector block. Let's see if that, uh, yeah, okay. So the projector block was actually causing it to think that it was still part of the same grid. So now I can go into here. I can grab what's going to be called our small grid right there. We can switch it to this and we should now have access to move it onto our little control thing here. Okay, let's move it over it. And then I'm going to have to actually get into first person here so I can see this and guide it into its connection. Let's bring it in. Oops. <laughs> and with that, we can now connect and then say recharge. So that's going to put all of our batteries on recharge mode. And that's good. I like that. Okay. While we're at it, I'll go ahead and grab the second drone that we had just chilling over there. And I'll go ahead and put it in its little place as well. Let's let that connect. And we'll go to this. Then we'll press lock. And that's good. Okay, so we now have two put here, and they're, they're as really close together, but I did make sure that they had enough space for all of these. So we need to build a couple more drones. We need one, two, three, four more, and it shouldn't be too difficult because we have this here. But what I'm going to have to do is build another projector. Uh, one block down so it doesn't get stuck to the uh, stuff. Okay, so one thing I noticed while I'm driving this thing is that I need to make sure that all these thrusters turn off every time I'm in here. So let's press K, go to thruster, and before we go off on our mission, we're gonna make we're gonna have to make sure to toggle all thrusters off like this, and then we should be able to. I press P again, <laughs> man. All right, that took a while. I had to get these all put back on, but basically I got to remember two things. One, do not press P because that'll disconnect all of these guys, and two, make sure we turn off the thrusters. Uh, when we need to. Okay, 
You guys should be on recharge. I don't know why you're not, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. What I need to do is I need to get these guys built up. So you need a lot of construction components and computers. Let's go in here and make sure we're building um, a bunch of construction components and a bunch of computers because we do need a lot of these. Alrighty, in terms of ammo, we do have 30. So I'll hop over here and I'm going to give each of these guys a little bit. Uh, so you, what I was going to do actually is I was going to put these all inside here. So, yeah, they're actually going to take some on their own. I think I'm fine with that. I'm going to redistribute it later. Okay, our third one is now attached. It's time to get our fourth, fifth, and sixth ones. I'm going to speed through this a little bit. Oh, we got a little bit of a lag spike going there. Uh, is something spawning? Yeah, I think, I think that just spawned right there. We have a parallax arrowhead, a ward of that. And, oh, those guys are actually going pretty fast. Um... But anyway, yeah, I'm going to get four, five, and six done, and hopefully by morning we'll have them. So the sun's coming around. Uh, we'll have them set up, and we'll be ready to go. Uh, so I will see you guys in a bit with hopefully all this stuff done. Let's get this on, and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and load you up next to your comrades here. I'm going to get myself a nice view for this. Okay, remote access, closest one, and... Take me in. I like how powerful the, the connectors are. It really helps in lining these guys up. So press number eight, and that's gonna do that. But I have to go in here and grab all the thrusters that are white here. And I have to turn them off manually because otherwise they don't turn off automatically for some reason. There we go, turn off, and perfect. Okay, we now have a ship full of these guys right here, and I think it looks cool. I'm actually gonna take a blueprint of this just with the, with the stuff, so. Okay, uh, I want to go to info. I'm going to call this. Uh, uh, oh, you know what? The same person who gave me um, uh, Mocha Mobile uh, also gave me another really cool name that I think would fit this really well. And that is the Caffeine Carrier because it's a carrier. So Caffeine Carrier. E-I-N-E. -E. Caffeine spelled weird, isn't it? Caffeine Carrier. Okay, so the Caffeine Carrier... <laughs> It's carrying all this excitement right here. I think I think that's fitting. Uh, we're going to add a nice big headlight on the front, I think, just so that we know where this guy is at all times and we don't lose it. So headlight, kablam. Oh, I need, um, need some stuff for this. There we go. Some scary red lighting on the side so that this thing just looks like a menace. <laughs> the caffeine carrier. I'm going to go ahead and blueprint this guy so that just in case we want to, you know, make it look a little bit nicer and use it as a thumbnail or something, that'd be cool. And if you guys want to see it on the uh, workshop, let me know and I'll, I'll put it on the workshop. But caffeine carrier, there it is. Okay, when the sun comes up, we're going to send these guys off. All we need, we don't need that much. We need our character weapon, which is right here. We need this guy. We need this guy, which is our mobile respawn base. And what else do we need? I don't know that we need anything else. I guess I should make some extra weapons and ammo uh, and put it on this just in case I die and need to respawn and grab some. So let's go into production. We're going to go ahead and make uh, probably maybe some basics. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go ahead and make some basic ammo as well. So we'll make 20 extra MR uh, ammo right there. Oh, actually, the final thing I wanted to do, I wanted a little craft so that I can drive in at full speed. So, you know what? Let me really quickly make a tiny little craft that I can bring in as well that will allow me to uh, to drive in really, really quickly so they can't shoot me. Uh, just give me one second. This is going to be really easy. It's just going to have a couple wheels and stuff like that. Okay, so it looks like the battery on this thing died, unfortunately. So we're going to make one bit of adjustment to this. We're going to add an O2H2 generator, and we're also going to add a uh, hydrogen engine right here. All right, I think we're finally about there. We've got all these vehicles up here. We have a lot of hydrogen power on here now because we're running into some power issues where our battery ran out of power. So it's still actually at 0% charge, I think. So we're really skimming on all this power right here. Um, in fact, looking at the charge of these guys, uh, three of these ships, I believe, are at 100% power. All the three on this side are at 100%, while these three right here are at only like 31% power. But it is going up as long as the uh, engines remain on, which they should remain on as long as we have ice, which we have plenty. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But luckily, I think even with about 30% or probably the 40% we'll have by the time we'll get there, uh, I think these guys should still perform just fine. Um, and I think we'll be good uh, because these have like an hour of power when they're full. So um, anyway, I think it's about time for us to head on over. So let's get. Oh, by the way, I made a little vehicle. Um, I I've been working a lot on this ship, so I totally forgot I made this. But I made a little vehicle right here uh, that I actually don't 
think we're gonna bring. I was gonna bring it because I thought that maybe we'd charge in as these things were going, but I think what I wanna do instead is control one of these. I think that'd be cooler. So we're gonna send five of these guys on their mission and we'll control one. And then if, you know, if we fail, we'll come back, grab this thing and charge on in or something like that. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's head in this thing and get going. Uh, so let's turn our break off. We have everything we need. And if we need more ice, we'll just grab some on the way. We gotta be a little careful here. Let me make sure the um, all the thrusters are off. I think they are. Okay, we should be good then. All right, we're gonna have to go in first person for a lot of this because this thing struggles a lot with uh, third person, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, we're gonna get within 800, maybe 1,000, something like that, uh, wherever they can't see us. And, oh shoot, okay, we're starting to, to low run low on power. So we're gonna have to be very careful here with uh, with how we use it. Luckily, we can pretty much idle most of our way there. We just have to use power to, to get some speed, but once we have the speed, we keep it pretty well. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're looking for somewhere where they can't see us that we can set up. So ideally, like less than a thousand kilometers in. So let's see if we can find a place like that. I'm thinking probably from the, uh, coming from the, I don't know what direction it would be. Maybe it's, well, it's not telling me, but like right in front of us, basically, there's a couple of mountains that maybe we can set up behind and that might help out. What do you think of that? That's what this thing looks like, charging full speed. We didn't change any of the wheels, so that's it's it's a little strange, but there we go. That is the that's the carrier. And <laughs> it's natural habitat. That was a screenshot right there. Alright, let's let's continue on our way. Um make sure we have that open. Okay, so we're almost within about a thousand kilometers, so we need to start looking for a position where we can kind of chill and set up. So I'm thinking maybe somewhere right here. I don't want to go over this unless let me let me like third person. I can't really third person it very well. But let's 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 just cautiously kind of approach. Okay, we got to be careful here. Brakes are having a little trouble. Okay, maybe right here. Let's no, not press P. I almost pressed P. Let's press number seven. Okay. Oh, we can actually get a little closer. I'm noticing that um, that they can't actually see us from here. So maybe we can get over this mountain. I want to. Okay, we gotta be really careful. Can we maybe come around on this right side? Yeah, I think we can actually come around on this on uh, left side, our left, their right. I think that would be a little bit easier. Okay, let's head on over that way. By the way, I added a gyro and antenna and a, a remote control to this guy, so I can control this from anywhere, and I can also control these guys as I'm going. So, oh, I almost pressed P again. Let's press number seven. We're gonna turn ourselves so that we're facing this direction, and we're gonna try and head on over here. Being very cautious so that we don't get shot at by them. Okay. We're going to come down here. The closer we can get without them aggroing on us, the better, I think. All right, let's stop right here, hop out, and see what this has to offer. Uh, prolonged exposure to personnel inhibitor field may be fatal. Okay, so they have a, pro pro a personnel inhibitor field, which means that I, I'm just going to continue to take damage as long as I'm kind of close to this. Which, uh, kind of, okay, well, that, that's not cool. I'm wondering if maybe I want to back up just a little bit until I'm outside of the personnel inhibitor field, which I don't know what the range is, but I'm guessing it's going to be around 800 meters. Let's go ahead and stop right there. We should be out of the range. Oh, I'm having trouble stopping. There we go. Number seven. And yeah, okay, it looks like the range is 800, which makes sense because 800 is the range that you can, like, shoot your normal weapons. So, okay, we've got all these guys. They're pretty much powered up. This is at almost 50% power. Uh, let me make sure we have ice in this guy so we don't just run out of power randomly. We do indeed have ice. All right, let's start getting these guys set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go into here to set these guys up. I'm going to turn on their thrusters. So all thrusters, I want you guys to turn on. Oops, that's not what I wanted. On. Okay. Then I want to go into batteries, and I want to turn all of our batteries onto auto. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to switch lock, and then I'm going to go here, remote access, and control him. And while I'm controlling them, I'm actually going to go into info and call this drone A or something, so that they're, they're easy to, to find. Okay, so drone A, we're going to position you about right there. Next, we're going to get uh, this next guy over here. Drone B. Okay, so we're going to do that for all the drones, so give me a second. I'm going to get all the drones kind of positioned. And finally, Drone E. Now, there's one thing I've forgotten that I've just realized. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure these all have ammo. 
Uh, Cause I don't know that they do. Yeah, this guy's got 10. I'm gonna give them all four ammo. So give me six of your ammo. Cause I think we made enough so that we, they can all have four at least. Yeah, so some of these don't. See, this one needs four right there and four. And then I've got a little extra on me. Maybe I'll put that in the drone I'm gonna, I'm gonna control. Uh, a little biased here. Okay, so now we have all of our drones ready. It's time to get them going. I'm gonna hop in here. I'm gonna go into drone A. And uh, that, that makes me sad that they're not positioned by grid name. Oh, I can make them by, by grid name, okay. So my guy is gonna be, my guy is attack drone, cool. So I'm gonna go drone A. I'm gonna control it. And all I need to do is I think I need to gain vision on them and then I need to press number three and they should start attacking. So actually the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna give you some forward velocity here. I'm gonna get you all the way in there so that you've got some speed going to you. And then I'm gonna press number three, just right there. And that should, I'm just gonna... Okay, nope, that didn't work. Oh, okay, it's got it, okay. I saw the auto start to go. So let's go drone B, control. Requesting assistance from any passing assault ships. That worries me. <laughs> that worries me a little bit. Okay, send you in like so. I'm giving you a lot of speed. Oh, I don't, I don't like the fact that they're like dying immediately. Remote access, drone C. Okay, let's change how we do this a little bit. Let's go up and then press number three like that. So that's a little farther out. Let's go drone E. Go in and hopefully this will get them on their attack vectors next one final one and i really i really should have had a button for this drone e drone d that's the only one okay drone d go finally my drone let's get uh, attack drone control and we're going in all right drone e and drone d are still in they're shooting drones out of the sky left and right let's start firing oh we need to hit that that's that's a big threat right there Come on, let's let's tear that down. Oh man, I, I'm seeing explosions in front of me. Okay, we got one down. I'm gonna stay low. Oh, we got hit. We took a hit, but we're fine. I'm firing on that guy. Ah, there we go. That's us. But do we have any more drones in the sky? Still flying. Remote access. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, I think our, our drone mission was a failure. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, it could have gone a little better. We did get all the drones in there. The problem was that, that they, um, they, yeah, they, they, they died. We did take something out though. Oh, okay. We got the inhibitor field. I think we got the, um, we got at least one of the things. So if I were to put a weapon on here, we might actually be able to continue this, which, you know what? Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll try it. All right. We're going to try it. I'm going to go back and try and get a couple materials for this. And, uh, and we're going to see if we can attack it head on. <laughs> we did take out one of the turrets, so like the drones did something. But I think if I, w if I wanted to do that again, I think what went wrong is I probably needed more drones and I probably needed them to go at the same time instead of going one by one. All right, we are actually going to use this after all. I'm going to hop in this guy. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, why? Why is it doing that? Okay, there we go. I got it. Um, I had to go into creative mode and like remove and replace it and that did it. I don't know. It was like glitched out or something. But anyway, let's head on over and we are going to try and use this thing. All right, here we are at the carrier and we have enough stuff for two machine guns as well as a lot of ammo that we can use. So let's go ahead and park right here. Oh man, this thing doesn't have very good brakes. But anyway, let's park right here. We'll back up just a little bit so we're not in the inhibitor field. And let's park. Okay, so weapon on this guy, easy. Bam, bam. I'm gonna put some uh, some stuff in here. I'm gonna put um, seven in there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put one on here as well. So this this is gonna be kind of weird, but oops, I don't want to respawn. Nope, I'm hitting backspace back accident. It's it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be off center, but you know what? It just might work. Okay, seven in there. And let's try and get close. This thing should hopefully make it so the inhibitor field can't uh, can't get us. I can move up, and I've got to be a little careful here. But I should be able to get an angle on these guys and fire a couple shots in their direction. And hopefully they're not accurate enough, accurate enough to hit us. Okay, we're actually pretty close. This is good. Let's see how I am. That's smoke from something that we killed. What am I looking at? Oh, okay, that's the thing we killed. Maybe I can remove their power. I'll fire at it. 
on the off chance that it actually helps. And also, I don't know what that is. If I can somehow kill that inhibitor, then I can actually go in, and that would be nice. There we go. Okay, we've killed that. Let's move forward just a tad bit. I want to see what else I see. Okay, that's an antenna of some sort. That is... I don't know what that is. They still have their suppression field active, though. Oh, okay, there's a weapon. Can I hit it from here? That's the question. I think I can. So I'm going to put shots there. Uh, I hit it a bunch with our little drone. Which means it might already be pretty damaged. Man, I'm having a lot of trouble shooting at these things. I'm wondering if it's worth it for me to try to get a little closer. I'm gonna wait for those shots to fire, then I'm gonna try and get a little closer right here. Oh, shoot. I think I'm good. Oh, okay, shots whizzing over my head, but I think I can get a little bit closer. Let's turn that off. Okay, there we go. We still gotta be a little careful, but the closer I am, the more accurate my shots should be, in theory. So I think I can get into this little dip right here as well. Okay, perfect. We're in like a little dip now, which means we can hopefully try and LOS some of these guys. We're close, we're 200. So if we can get lower than them, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, there's one. We're almost a little lower than it. Oh man. Oh, shots are going over us, but I think we're getting good hits on him. Come on. Maybe just a couple more. Oh man, these are getting close. But yeah, we are getting hits. Hit markers are good. Oh, okay, we finally hit him. I was like, Jesus, I'm putting so many shots down range. How have we not killed him yet? But we actually did finally hit him. And is that the other one right there? No, that's not. That looks, like okay, there's the other one. But that one, I might be able to just like sneak on by. Oh no, maybe not, hang on. Uh oh, back up, back up, back up. The thing, the thing that was between us broke, <laughs> and that is that's dangerous because now he can shoot through us. Okay, uh, so we got it. You know, we got a couple hits on him. That's good. I wish I had just one more of those drones left up, uh, left to pilot. Oh, <laughs> dang. Okay, he actually hit it, but didn't kill it. Uh, well, the ammo's still intact. Alright, let's hop out and see if I can repair it. I can, because we had enough stuff for another one. Okay. How are you doing over there? We can actually see the base really clearly. Oh, shoot, there are three alive? Oh! That's not good. Uh... I mean, I can try and... Let's, let's keep trying to kill the second one right here, because if we can kill this one, we'll be in really good shape. I mean, I'm getting good hits on it. Oh, man, that was close. Okay, we're getting good hit mark. Oh! Oh! He's on fire! Yes! Oh, shoot. Okay, there's... Well, there's two more, probably. Uh, yep. Those two are still left. But the ones in the back are done. That's good. I wonder if we can maybe get a better position, then. And maybe, like, get in from a direction over there. I'm just thinking, if we come in from this direction, they're gonna shoot us. But if we come in from maybe around... I don't know. Let's try it. Let's back up a little bit. Let's go around that way and see if we can maybe, uh, get over there. I'm wondering, here, let, let's try and sneak off this way. I'm hoping they can't shoot me as I'm escaping. We were able to escape that one time before without them shooting us. Oh, okay, he's shooting. Oh boy. Oh man, okay, they are indeed shooting. In fact, it looks like there's two of them shooting at us. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, I think we might be out of the woods here because we're we're over a, a good cliff. Okay, first person, and let's turn this back on so we can actually see. So their range is like what, like 1,200, right? Something like that. Okay, let's let's come around this way, and let's try and kind of stay outside their range a little bit. We're gonna try and come around. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, land it, land it. Land it! There we go. This is why you need gyros in a rover. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the get out key. 
Um, okay, let's let's reposition, get a better position, and then see if we can see if we can do something. So there it is. Yeah. So there's no real like area that we can kind of get in so that they can't shoot at us, but uh, we can maybe shoot at one of those guys at a time. I was hoping maybe we could position ourselves so that like a wall blocks us, but I don't think that is going to happen. Let's let's try and peek over this, see what we can see. Beautiful view of Earth, by the way. Maybe I'll take a, a, a photo of that. That's actually kind of cool. All right. What do we see? There's him. Oh, he's taking aim. Um, I mean, I can shoot at him like this. It's just gonna not go very well, probably. <laughs> I could keep going a little bit. Here, let's let's keep going a little bit. See if we can find a better position. Okay, this will at least bring us down. And if we can get kind of on their level, that might help. Because then then we don't have to worry about coming into a valley where they can just shoot up at us. We can kind of already be uh, in in the area. And this is the side with the two broken ones. So from this position, I don't think the third guy can shoot me. But the second guy definitely can. That one right there on the left side. I'm pretty sure the third one has no shot, though. We're within 200. That's the that's him. Okay. And the third guy is back there somewhere. I don't think I can hit him from here. I'm gonna fire a couple shots, then back off, because he wasn't looking at me. We got nine hits on him there, that's good. Trying to get some freebies there. Oh man, seven hits. He has a hard time hitting us though. We likewise have a hard time hitting him. Oh, maybe not though, hang on, we're getting hits. We're getting hit markers, big time. As long as he can't hit us, we're getting like, we've got, we've got tons of hit markers here. Maybe I'll just sit here and keep firing. Oh! Okay, he killed our, he killed our gun, I think. Yeah, he did. Do we have the materials to repair it? No, we're missing the construction components. Also, our oxygen's low. Okay, hang on. Pull us right here. Fly really, really, really fast out of here. Seven, three, two. Okay, we just managed to get out of there. We have no oxygen though. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. Luckily though, our body should land right next to our base. If we uh, spawn at this survival kit. It's on its way. All right, here's my plan. We're gonna make another one of these things because this isn't going so well over at the over at the place. It's not going terribly well. Our ship's still alive, luckily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, another one of these. Uh, uh, we're gonna make another one of those and we're gonna do the same thing. However, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna aggro that one weapon and then we're gonna let this thing, we're gonna control this thing and let it kind of, you know, shoot at it. Cause this thing does a lot of damage, I think, I hope. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna see if it works out. All right, I made this guy, and oh, I need to. Okay, I uh, stood on the engine. Yep, that was not my smartest. <laughs> that was not my smartest move. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna take this guy over with us. Uh, I'm gonna stand right here, hopefully not falling off, because this thing doesn't have a seat. And we're gonna go remote access this guy over back to our ship. Oh shoot, that's not good. That thing is going. Here's what we'll do. You know what? I'm gonna go to the MK2 uh, caffeine carrier over here. I'm gonna control it from there. How about that? All right, this guy's only got about two, three minutes of power, so it doesn't have much, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and around over here. And we're gonna try to sneak our way down over to where we were before. We're gonna try to sneak our way around here. And we've got a camera, and we've got a very high-powered Gatling gun. That's our ship over there. It's fine, don't worry. It just looks a little damaged. I'm gonna fire a couple shots, back up. Okay, this is guerrilla warfare. And it's gonna work, I hope. Oh shoot, that's our other dude. Oh, we got him, he's done. Fire a couple shots and down. The same thing. Fire a couple shots, oh! Fire a couple shots and down. Here's what I'm wondering, can I make a mad dash over to there? 
If I can bait out his next few shots. Oh gosh. Come on, fire, fire. I dare you. Okay, I'm going. Stay low, stay low, stay fast. Stay low, stay fast. Stay low. Ah! Where am I? I'm alive. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. That was that wasn't me. That was my that was my ship. I'm gonna repair this thing really, really quickly. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna hop in. Oh man, okay. Now, this guy right here, he's distracted. He's still shooting at him. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna light him up. Was he distracted? He wasn't that distracted. Wait, is he done? No, he's not done. But what I'm noticing actually is there's something between me and him. So if I can maybe get like a an angle. Here, watch this, watch this. An angle. Over here. I'm just gonna come around until there's something between me and you. You're on that side, right? Is that you? Ah, that's you. Oh, I see like a tiny little weapon as well. Okay. Well, interesting thing is if I'm right here, I don't think the big gun can hit me. I think the tiny one can, but I can deal with a tiny gun. I've dealt with tiny guns before. Big guns are my problem. See, look, tiny gun right there. Tiny gun is done. The big gun's back there. I think I can see it. I hope I can see it. Okay, we're gonna try to, to inch our way forward because he can't shoot me because he'd be shooting through, through his own stuff. Okay, so here we are. That's a reactor. I probably should have killed that. That probably would have been the play. But we're now close to where you are, which means where is the thing that is... Is that the inhibitor? Let's blow that up. Let's see if that kills the inhibitor. Okay. Yeah, that was the inhibitor. Okay, cool. The, I mean, hand drills are disabled, but I'm not too worried about that. I think the the inhibitor is gone that stops me from like surviving in here. So that's good. Okay, that means where is he? Okay, that's the guy that is causing me so much trouble, which means I just need to stay away from him and I can maybe get in here. There's a front entrance that I would love to use. Only problem is uh, Wait, what is that? Oh, the hand drill. Okay, you know what? Let's kill that. All right, hand drill inhibitor gone. Okay, so now I should be good to hop out of here and like just get in. I'm gonna go in through right here. Hello? Yeah, I think I should be safe here. Okay. What have we? There could potentially be I know there I know for a fact there's that one gun. So I need to be a little careful of those. But there could potentially be here, let me let me put my, my weapon on hop bar. Boom. Weapons on hop bar. Not that this would actually do anything to that guy. Let's let's make a run for it to try and take this guy out. Okay, that guy would have killed us if there was a problem. Research available. Download. Oh, I've acquired a research point. I don't know what that does. Okay, that guy was damaged. And now he's offline. Inventory there. Full. Okay, perfect. All right. <laughs> We've got some stuff in there. Let's uh let's continue clearing this place, but this is going to be a lot of good stuff for us. Um, I got to be careful because there could be a second one of those. But if, if we haven't encountered one yet, I don't know where it would be. Oh, it could be in there. Where's our light? Oh, this isn't really an inside, is it? Okay, let's try and go up here. If there's anything else up here. Okay, I think the place is clear. I'm noticing there's nothing else. Um, maybe I can try and get in here. Inventory is full, but it's fine. Inventory full. That's just a seat. Okay. All right, I think we've cleared this place. This is good. We can make this like a little outpost. It's got lots of hydrogen for us. It's got, uh, that weapon's technically still online. Um, I don't know, have I hacked it if I encounter it like this? Okay, I don't know that I've hacked it, so I'm 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 just gonna I'm just gonna take it down because <laughs> I'm worried it's gonna shoot me. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's hop over here. We're gonna grab our uh, caffeine carrier and we're gonna bring it all the way down here. the The sun is going down, but it's okay because there's no more danger. I don't think. Let's get back over. Here. Oh snap! Uh, I hope those guys aren't too mad that we took their base. <laughs> that would be awkward. Oh, we got some stuff over here from our attempts. 
from our uh, our little our poor little dudes. What have we here? Yeah, this looks like it's from one of our one of our guys we sent out. We will reclaim this stuff and reuse it for new ones. So all in all, the drone attack itself wasn't amazing. In fact, the drone attack failed horribly. It was the um, well, the second drone did some work. The second drone, or the final drone that I sent out, uh, like just now, actually took out one of those things. So that drone was really good. I think the Gatling turret must be a lot, or the Gatling stationary weapon must just be a lot better than the Gatling turret. Um, but I, I definitely need to refine my uh, my drone tactics because that was a that was abysmal. <laughs> I really thought that like six drones would would handle it, and then the fact that they just. Uh, got uh got annihilated immediately is sad but you know what let me know what you guys think about that because some of you i'm sure have experience with doing something like that uh drone swarms or you know sending them out all out at a time that's the part that i didn't really get right uh but let's check out some of this stuff i don't know that this would have anything in it but i can you know i can take some of it and i don't think i'm going to take the entire base i'm probably going to make like a little outpost here but some of this stuff weapon rack some of this access denied so i'll take a little bit of this i'm gonna try and hack the medical station i don't know if that's gonna work it is offline oh so the base didn't even have power wait how are those guys still moving then what do we have in here we have access denied i can hack this and hopefully get access here oh explosives that would come in handy now these <laughs> these jetpack and or these these uh per personnel suppression fields which made my life very painful i can finally get the materials from those I i'm not a fan of those i don't think i wonder if there's a way to turn them off I, I know what they're used for right they're they're used so that people don't just like jetpack into a base and like one shot it or something like that um but i mean it, it kind of stopped me from doing the plan that i had originally which was sending all the drones out and then driving up to the base uh which i think would have been cooler it's a gravity generator in here a little strange but Inventory. don't mind if i do but anyway, yeah, the, the inhibitor fields, the, you know, the, the drill inhibitor field isn't that bad. Uh, rather, the, um, not the drill one, the the, uh, the grinding one isn't that bad. But the personnel one is really rough. If you just get out of your vehicle, you're just going to start taking damage. That's that's kind of a pain. But um, but yeah, okay, we took this place out. Let me know what you guys think we should do with this. Uh, I've, I'm thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards making it into some sort of outpost because it does have a, an industrial refinery here. It's got a, um, what's that, no toast generator? It's got an assembler. So yeah, it does have some good stuff, right? Uh, it would be probably a pretty good little outpost for us to have. Not very far from the base. Uh, let me go ahead and hack this so that we can reclaim it. It's still red. But I, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, keeping it as like a little outpost would be would be a kind of cool idea. Um, but that was a really tough fight. I think next time we go in for like a combat encounter or something like that, we're definitely gonna have to prepare a little bit more rather than bring just kind of a a, a, a whipped together little ship here that we can repair infinite times. Um, we should probably bring something that actually has some firepower. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this encounter. I think we're gonna end it right here. I was planning on doing maybe a little bit of base building, but this took so long that I think it's about time to to uh, to move on. In the next episode, we'll do a little bit more uh, base building. Let me know what you thought of the drone swarm. <laughs> I really wish it had gone better. That would have been so cool if we had like 10 drones flying around here, uh, you know, doing their thing rather than them getting sniped one by one but um but yeah <laughs> where did it all go wrong anyways if you guys like this episode please hit the like button put all your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section uh and if you're not subscribed feel free to subscribe if you want to join the discord or the patreon there are links to both of those down in the description and with that i'll see you all in the next episode of space engineers survival